Where can you just on demand call up a masseuse, tell them that your back hurting, and they come same day within two hours? I mean, that's all I'm that's all I'm gonna say about that. Imagine waking every day with a sense of purpose, free from constraints of societal expectations. Life doesn't have to be a constant race to keep up with norms that don't serve you. Today, we're diving into what it truly means to live with intention, designing a life that aligns with your evolving goals, breaking free from autopilot, and challenging the narratives that tell us what we're supposed to do. There's a better way to live, and it starts with choosing a path that resonates with your deepest desires. start today which is okay that's just me creating the life I love put some water on the kettle and then just put it in this thing here I'm going to put some mint in there and you see the steam this is something that I learned in Morocco you put the mint a couple drops of mint in there put your face over the steam and it just clears you up And also serves as a deodorizer too. Is this skin glowing or is it glowing? So after I do my sniffing, I add in the royal amber essence that I get, also got from Egypt. Um, and then kind of serves as a natural deodorizer. I'm going to turn the oven on so it's not boiling but still heating. And then that way my entire condo is smelling like Egyptian mint magic. But I need to go downstairs to get me some coffee. So let's go. I also have to place an order with Lazada and order me some more sugar-free vanilla or some kind of sugar-free syrup because I got one last swig left. Now look at this skin. I tell you what. <laughs> For so long, I found myself just going through the motions, waking up, going to work, ticking off the boxes of what society told me I was supposed to do. But one day I realized I was living on autopilot, not truly experiencing life or aligning with my deeper purpose. Moving abroad forced me to reevaluate everything, from my daily routine to the very essence of what I wanted my life to look like. It was in this shift that I discovered the freedom to design a life of purpose, one that reflects with my true desires and aspirations, not just what was expected of me. Breaking free from autopilot was the first step towards living a life that feels authentic and meaningful every single day. Okay guys, hello, hello again. We have gotten a good decent amount of work done. Now, just doing just a little, the very bare minimum on this here face. Cause Lola hasn't made an appearance in a while, has she? Well, here she is. Guys, if I could have been born in any other country in the world, it would have definitely been the UK. We all know that, let's be honest. Well, I'm a fake American. I'm a fake American in the sense that I love being American when it counts, where it counts. That's a fake American. <laughs> and I'm not afraid to say it. However, I could have been born in Great Britain, right? In the UK, walking in Palace or something like that, and would have been completely fine. I cannot wait to take my hair out this week. This is enough, ooh, this is getting dry. A hack to a dry mascara. Put some contact solution in there, a couple drops. I'll tell you, but not water, but contact solution. The net taught me that trick. Sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> I'm just playing. The sprinkle, sprinkle lady, while all of her rants are, are not agreeable, right? She does have valid points on a lot of different things. She's just entertaining. Like, she is hilarious. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. All right, that's about it. No foundation, a little bit of blush, some mascara, and you just look like you have a natural rosy cheek. <laughs> Ooh, with nappy edges. Oh gosh. All right, let's throw some clothes on and get on the bike, order the pizza right before I leave, 
and then have it sent over to Charlotte's. today Ooh, 91 no it's it feel like it's 101 it's truly hot outside just waiting on charlotte you know she always late how are you gonna be late when i told you five minutes ago i was here and i wasn't even here yet how are you gonna be late that's what i'm trying to figure out here she is look right there just late always just want to be late i'm trying to figure out i'm just trying to figure out how you late for in your own building hey how was too messy <laughs> <laughs> So it's just what we needed. Pizza, wine, it's always a good idea, right? It is such a beautiful hot day here in Bangkok. The river is rivering. See the Ferris wheel? I need to get over there to that Ferris wheel. And that is the famous Golden Bridge over yonder. How are you liking the movie Fear? Oh, I'm enjoying it. I am so invested. <laughs> How am I on your DVD right now? <laughs> My lips are dry. We are watching <laughs> 90s movies. Drama, 90s drama, I should say. And the movie Fear. If you have not seen it with Mark Wal who? Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberger, if you <laughs> <laughs> You need to watch it. It is such a crazy good movie, but Charlotte has never seen it. So I'm introducing Charlotte to fear. Reese Witherspoon is <laughs> nasty. That girl is nasty. She's too young for what she's doing. She's those fast girls that your mama told you not to hang out with. She is way too fast. Come on with a spoon. My dad no. would call it a hotsy tatsy girl. Hotsy tatsy. <laughs> Breaking free from autopilot starts with small steps. Questioning what truly makes you happy and if your current path aligns with that vision. It's about being intentional with your choices, whether it's your career, relationships, or daily habits. Remember, you have the power to design a life that reflects who you are and what you truly want, rather than just following a script written by someone else. a little walk and um, come to the living living single store um, but I saw this like little Dollar Tree type, type store and I decided maybe they may have a small baking sheet and I found it but they have so much other cute stuff here and this is exactly what I was looking for a small like little cooking baking rack here but they have all this other cute stuff that could possibly be. I don't have a mixing bowl. Oh, they have all the dollar travel size stuff. Oh, well, I didn't know I was gonna stumble upon this place today, but it's so cute.
they didn't provide with a shopping bag, but it's all right. And now we're going to go to the Living Single store. Living Single. That's the store that we went to. I don't know what that, what that says, but... Oh, Living Index. That's what it is. That's a Living Single. Living Index. Index Living. Ooh, it feels good in here. Thank you, Kara. This was the store that I lived in when I first moved here. Oh, we have so many great stuff. It's not on the expensive side, but it's it's not cheap. How about that? $3.89 for this plastic glass. Oh, I do need a wine corks. Do I? I can get them cheap on Lazada, actually. That's what I'll do, because $3.59 for those. <laughs> no, thank you. I do need one of these because I want to fry. I only have a, a medium size. I want one of these for a fried egg. 65, not bad. I feel like I want to make a cake or cupcakes or cookies. Oh, this is what I really need. There's a smaller little egg thingy just for eggs. Oh, you did not come here for this Antoinette. Get it together. Oh, this is nice. They have everything. They just, I wish I could have this on my balcony. Oh, they just make you wanna, I just wanna sit in it, but I don't feel like actually sitting down. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, this is so cute too. I wish I can fit this on my balcony. Can I? What do y'all think? Oh my gosh, I love this. Oh my gosh, it's so comfortable. Just imagine the balcony reading a nice little book on my Kindle with a glass of wine. Oh, I just love it. Can this fit like right there? No, it can't. Be realistic, Antoinette. You don't have no space. You don't have nothing. One of these days, I have all the space that I desire. But right now, it's just no point, right? I'm trying to talk sense into myself, so just help me in the comments, y'all. Help me in the comments. All oh, this stuff is so lovely. I just, I'm obsessed with home goods. In the pocket, like they drew breeze, talking who's who, they like who's me, grass is green and just a Okay, I do kind of want a new coffee cup though. I really do. Live you life. Oh, they forgot the your. Live you life. It's kind of cute though. I wish they would have got the how much is this? Oh. I wish they would have got the your. This is so cute. Live you life. I'm gonna get it. They tried. They forget that you are. Just said, coffee time, enjoy. It's so miniature. So cutesy, so demure. Okay, we're, we're checking out. We, we're done. Oh, wait, what's this? All right, same guy to the Living Single store. And um, headed down. Oh, I forgot my Dollar Tree store. I used to be over here all the time. My Dollar Tree store, what is it? Mr. D. I don't know why. Remember, remember this one? Remember this store? Uh, yes, they have everything too. This is literally like Dollar Tree. First store that I was at, that was like a Dollar General. We love Dollar General. This is like a Dollar Tree, seriously, for sure. And then Living Single was like, like a Ross or Home Goods. Home Goods, that's what it's like, Home Goods. But we love them all. I don't even know what I need in this. In this place let me get out of here because because we're spending money everything from kids backpacks they really got it all here honestly truly i wouldn't lie to you honestly 
I wouldn't lie to you, truly. Oh, now I know I can come get me one of these satchels. Kids toys, little stickers, my cleaning stuff. You can get the little peel things. Your house shoes. Honest, I should have came here first. If you want to be honest. Just bought at Living Single, 21 baht. I bought it for 60. Oh gosh, I should have came here first. Darn it. Oh yes, they have these gold bowls. Look how cute this pink cup is. Live simple. Oh my gosh. This was only 65 baht. Whereas mine was 100. Living, I'm telling you, Mr. DIY, they'll get you right. One of the most empowering aspects of my journey abroad has been challenging the narratives that were ingrained in me about what success should look like. I've come to understand that the traditional paths we're told to follow, whether it's a certain career, a lifestyle, or societal expectations, don't have to define us. Living abroad has allowed me to break free from these constraints and redefine success on my own terms. supposed to be me grabbing a car or a bike to and from the store and let me being walking both ways to and from the store and I appreciate it I'm really trying to be more active and I have been struggling really really struggling being active I'm in this space where I'm trying to break out of being lazy take it one day at a time one day at a time and that's another thing that I kind of want to touch on my evolution of of growing i'm feeling and i'm enjoying my growth process this season and as i navigate life abroad one of the most profound lessons that i am learning is the importance of embracing growth my vision and goals have shifted a bit since i've been evolving and i'm realizing that that's that's okay it's okay to outgrow certain aspects of life whether it's a job a relationship or even a mindset and living abroad has redefined how success and happiness looks like for me it's definitely a continuous journey where each new stepping stone that i'm that i've been faced with is adding depth to who i am and who i'm really striving to be at this point so i say to you don't be afraid to and i know we are we've created a culture of letting go of what doesn't serve you however it still rings true to a lot of different things because growth often requires you to step into the unknown and really trust that you're you're on the right path and whatever will be will be it'll unfold just as it should so embrace those changes that come with evolution knowing that it will eventually lead you to you sound so corny your true authentic self but always keep in mind that your journey is unique for you don't look at my life don't look at anybody else's life and think that it's any better because everybody is dealing with something honor you honor your life and allow yourself to evolve along the way that's all i got okay i have been home for a couple of hours getting some work done but Something is going on with my throat. I'm feeling a bit, a bit of a something coming on. So I'm trying to, I want to catch it before it gets too bad. I've already been sick twice last month and uh, I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to run over to Tops next door and get me some lemon because I have everything else. I have tea, I have honey, I have cough drops. I need some lemon, lemon and Ginger would be nice, actually. Also, I feel like I have a crook in my back, upper back and my um, neck. 
and I need to get it out. It's gonna rain tonight. It's gonna rain. Maybe it's the way I've been sleeping or something, but it's not going away. So the pain is not going away. I'm not really sure. It's not like a dramatic pain, but it is definitely noticeable when I move certain directions. I ordered a masseuse to come to the house this evening. I order it like right before I go to bed. Have the curtains open, laying down on my bed, give you a nice 60 to 90 minute massage. Oh, perfect. So that'll be a, a treat and hopefully she can get this kink out of my, my back. super spicy that I don't feel like all that spice today. What is this? Rice. Got some Vietnamese chicken. Rotisserie chicken. I feel like I was supposed to get something else while I was here. Oh, cough drops. Give me some more cough drops. All right. These are actually my favorite cough drops here, the Ricolas sugar free and i think i'll get the lemon mint kind darn it they don't have the box oh they do have the boxes right here all right sugar free lemon mint can never go wrong with the ricola all right that was a quick run and we are headed back home i'm super excited about massage today actually very excited <laughs> This is what I mean, it's just, there is a better way to live. Like I know there's probably places out there, but where can you just on demand, call up a masseuse, tell them that your back hurting, and they come same day, within two hours, if you need it. I mean, that's all I'm, that's all I'm gonna say about that. It was like it knew that it was about to get worked out, so it wanted to act up like extra. Hopefully, we can get it worked out. Something on my mind, finally, not afraid to say it. I know it took some time just to read it in a press release. What I was going through, but I got stole. The fear of being last Like everybody knows when you yes. don't If every feeling pies oh, Then why am I still stuck I with this one? Okay. <laughs> you should see oh, how, how do you like it through It's okay? Up to you Okay <laughs> <laughs> No, you want to stop here again? No? I know, no, no, no. I want to leave you with this. Life is too precious to live by someone else's script, whether it's moving abroad or simply making a change where you are. Remember that you have the power to shape your own path. Embrace the possibilities, challenge the status quo, and don't be afraid to design a life that truly reflects who you are and what you value. Your journey is uniquely yours. Live it fully with intention and without regret. Mm -hmm. Now what is going on?